Well, hello, people of the world. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy today. Um, I guess I should bring you guys up to date with a couple things that's been going on here. I'm dusty. Um, so my mom is out of all her hospital stuff. Uh, it was a kind of like a, a reaction and there's still some stuff going on, but it's, it's, uh, being settled down. Uh, I am thankfully done with my last job, so I'm going to be able to help her out and, uh, you know, make sure everything for her is taken care of. Um, let's see. Just finished the job today. Got two doors. Uh, I think there was one of uh, the two I, I cut down wrong. And I'm getting a random phone call from Connecticut. I'm not going to answer it. Um, a lot of scammers today. Man, a lot of scammers calling me. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm, I'm done with all the work. I canceled the one job. Um, uh, haven't heard from him since I canceled, so I don't know what's happening there. Uh, everything's put in on the job I was on where I, I miscut the doors. And I, luckily I cut them, I didn't cut them down enough. So all I had to do was cut off another inch and re-rail them. And it kind of sucked, but everything's done now. Um, uh, tomorrow I'm doing... Uh, not my last treatment, but one of my last treatments for a while for my neck and my back. And then I was supposed to go to, I was thinking about going to the flea market this weekend. But instead, I'm going to make a lot of YouTube videos while going through all them clothes and talking about a wide variety of things. And I'm going to have a lot of fun this weekend. It's raining, so I'm not, it, you know, it's like uh, 50 and 70% chance of rain. So I'm just going to not really you know worry about going to the flea market and just go through and process all that stuff plus i still have to finish cleaning out my mom's storage locker so don't do it dude don't do it um talking to traffic but yeah I'm, uh so for right now the best i can tell other than getting the glass done at the uh, the bar that i was working on i still got to do the little glass transom which it only takes a couple hours to do uh, I'm just going to spend the rest of the year from now until uh, the end of December, well, now until January 1st, and I want to get my warehouse on point, absolute perfect, and the plan is the big warehouse area, if you've seen my videos, uh, if you've been here a while, you know kind of the layout of my warehouse, but the big warehouse uh, area is going to be all the doors and doors paraphernalia, and I'm going to go through and start building them suckers one every day and getting them sold. Um, you know, and even though I'm just going to be concentrating on cleaning and organizing, I'm also going to be posting a ton of stuff on uh, the marketplace and Craigslist, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm, uh, the back area where the washer and dryer and all that, that used to be my build shop. And I'm not going to build anything back there. I'm going to get it all cleaned up. I'm going to tear down my build table and take it out of there and put it into the front area. And then I'm going to use that area for processing all the stuff for the flea market. And so everything's going to go right back there. I'm actually tearing down the back gate too. Do I could drive right up to the back door. And uh, But I'm going to use that to clean up, process. I'm going to have all my trash cans back there instead of the front. And uh, that area is going to be wholly dedicated just to getting stuff ready to go to the flea market. And then the office... Uh, I'm going to put the shelving back up there and once it's priced and ready and like I'm going to have a box of toys, a box of glassware and all that's going to be put on shelves. So depending on which flea market, I can grab different stuff and load it up real quick. So I think that's the best way for me to get rid of my stuff. But uh, So I'll be able to have all the doors and that way the dust doesn't go to the other areas and it keeps everything separated instead of having to, you know, I think that's the best way for me to set up my shop until I possibly get rid of it. So, going through the second most dangerous intersection in Jacksonville, 95 and uh, 20th Street, which is now called Martin Luther King. This, man, I have seen, me, I've seen, physically seen a ton of accidents where cars go off the road or flip or end up down in the ditch. There's a ditch over here. You know, they're rebuilding it too. So now not only is it bad, but it's also filled with construction. 
I still think Beach and Southside is probably the most dangerous intersection in Jacksonville right now. Oh my God, a BMW driver let me over. That's a first. So, but yeah, I'm 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 actually really happy. And I'm having chili tonight. My mom cooked chili. I'm gonna go over in the state, uh, you know, spend the after or the evening with her. And uh, and it's a cold ass day and perfect, absolutely perfect day for chili. So. But yeah, uh, until next video, um, I'm going to be going, I think the next video is going to be me going through all them clothes and uh, making a ton of piles. I got uh, four tables set up and I got to grab me another, I think another four just for all the clothes and, and you know, so that might be the next, not, either that or the next video is going to be me in the storage unit. So, but on that note, peace, love, money, I'm out.